Good afternoon, Mr. Murley. Can Guy Mellon University of Australia just deliver a short course on business intelligence and data analytics recently funded by Australian Awards? So can you tell us a little bit about the course and um, the expected deliverables? So um, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade uh, in conjunction with APC and Carnegie Mellon University um, basically provided us support to deliver a business intelligence and data analytics short course program. The um, aim of the program was to bring in uh, scholars from different Philippine government agencies and to essentially uh, give them core skills in analytics um, and how it fits in into the larger picture of the agency needs in terms of business and strategy and bringing uh, the Philippines uh, into the future. So essentially this was a foundational program and uh, this is where students learned cutting edge analytics skills in addition to uh, working on a real world project for their agencies. That's how interesting it is. So today uh, all the scholars have finished their course already and they yes. are presenting uh, recommendations and also suggestions in front of all the agencies yes. um, as a result of the course. So what do you feel right yeah. now? So look, I'm, I'm amazed and I'm so excited about what they have been able to achieve in the sure. span of, you know, the last 10 weeks was when they did a major bulk of their project. But, uh, you know, they spent uh, about 10 weeks in Adelaide where they conceptualized the project for their agency. Um, they collected data, they looked at um, the issues in acquisition of data. And in spite of all of that, um, they put together uh, a great uh, you know, project with outcomes which I think will you know, bring their agency into the next level of analytics. Um, this is a project that is not going to stop now. All the agencies are actually uh, going to continue working on the project into the future. So this is a fantastic outcome. That was what we intended in the first place. This is a long-term goal, right? We want the agencies to, uh, to essentially increase their maturity in analytics and, and get to a point where they can uh, you know, meet the requirements of their uh, national development plans mm. and also upskill their employees. So as long as you talk about the uh, requirements and also the uh, intentions. Mm -hmm. So I, I have a lot of questions um, asking if CMU Australia will deliver similar course in the future. Sure. Um, simply because business intelligence and data analytics is one of the most concerned topic for the government areas yes. at this moment. Sure. So do you think that CMU will have um, a similar course next year? Yeah, look, um, you know, I'm, I'm really enthusiastic that we will be offering courses in business intelligence and analytics, uh, particularly based on the reactions that I've got from um, you know, senior dignitaries who attended our presentations and looked at the work that these um, uh, graduates and these scholars have done. Um, I certainly think that they're all on board and they're all excited. Um, so it's, I think it's a matter of formulating a program uh, and acquiring the budget for it, but I believe there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of interest. In the, in the CMU Business Intelligence and Data Analytics short course program. And I, I'm, I'm quite positive that we'll, we'll be seeing regular scholars coming from the Philippines in the future. Yes, yeah. I believe that a lot of government officials are looking mm -hmm. forward to have this course. In yes, the yes, yeah, exactly right. And I've, I've had a lot of them speaking to me after uh, my lecture and after actually having looked at what these students have achieved. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, every every person that I've spoken to is, is uh, uh, is really enthusiastic about uh, you know sending you know their own uh, and employees and and uh, uh, bringing their own agencies you know to upskill. That is great. Yes. Yeah. So just the last question: uh, What do you recommend to those who are keen on using and applying data analytics in their management jobs? Sure. In public sectors and perhaps in private sector as well. Certainly will do. So um, you know analytics. Um, it has to be seen from a holistic perspective, right? You've got to look at it from what the business needs, um, what is the overall strategy for the organization, and also what are your current technical capabilities, right? So without, so the first step in um, actually, uh, you know, increasing your uh, maturity level in analytics is to actually understand where you come from. Yeah. But in terms of what is needed is a, a core technical foundation is indispensable. So students must have you know, core technical skills and in, in using analytical tools and in, in learning analytical techniques. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, they need to have a strong understanding of the business for which they are applying their analytical skills, right? And I think that, so 
our program, in the, and that's why in our program we emphasize uh, a well-rounded education, which is a mix of business, uh, financial, economical skills. But but these are all uh, you know kind of supplemented by strong technical skills in analytical you know techniques and tools. Right. So this is what I think is the need. Uh, of Thank the you other. very much. Yeah. It's very helpful recommendation. Thank You're you most very welcome. Much, Mali. Yeah. Thank you. Um, have a good day. <laughs> you too. Thanks.